My Govanen Meleninen, welcome indeed. Unfortunately, I'm not Arakir Galadirton, who was uh, uh, the head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and also my favorite YouTuber that has uh, abandoned YouTube uh, since, uh, uh, if I don't remember uh, wrong, uh, the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. But by the way, we are here because we want to install uh, Divide and Conquer and make it work. So the first thing I suggest you to do is going to the official moddb.com page of Divide and Conquer and go to the download page. How did I do that? I search on, Go I search on Google for Duck uh, uh, Medieval 2 Total War and I found the, the main page. Then I scrolled down and I went to the um, files part, clicked on it and then scroll down again and click this button download now. <clears throat> uh, then I suggest you to keep uh, uh, this uh, uh, open so you can follow the instruction that we, we will do uh, by, uh, by now live. So uh, once you have downloaded the, the file, the zip, you have to unzip the zip. <laughs> and to do that, you should have WinRAR or something like that. You uh, click with your um, right button of the mouse and then uh, uh, you just click uh, uh, open with and I have WinRAR. Okay, I open it with WinRAR and then I select everything except uh, except this uh, this one and I click to uh, extract. I have already created uh, um, this uh, folder duck installation and uh, of course you go straightforward and this is the final result. So we have uh, extracted successfully all the files. Once you have extracted all the files, uh, it says run the executable, that is uh, this one, this one is the executable. You double click it uh, and you click yes uh, and then follow the instructions. And uh, as it says, uh, <clears throat> the installer should automatically, automatically detect uh, your Medieval 2 Total War folder and uh, this is the case. So you go next uh, and um, uh, in this case it says uh, it already exists but I don't go forward because I have already installed my uh, Divide and Conquer version 5 on my PC. So once uh, uh, everything uh, is completed uh, you should receive uh, this uh, uh, message that uh, uh, when you try to click the launcher that is this one Okay, when you try to click the launcher, it may say um, that you need this net desktop runtime installed. So it won't run. You try to run the application, the executable, but it won't. And so you don't need to panic. Uh, you can just go on this website and download this version, the x86. I will leave the link in the description. Of course, now I am recording it uh, the 29th of July. So maybe um, in the meantime, the version is uh, changed, but uh, the error that you will receive on screen will tell you exactly the version that you need to install. Uh, that is uh, the x86 by now. And uh, you just download this version, okay? and uh, there is another executable and uh, you can install it. Uh, of, of course, in my case, it says uh, disinstall because uh, I have already installed it. Once you have done that, uh, uh, you are ready to go. So if you click on uh, the executable, it will work. But uh, uh, a very um, important thing is uh, the large address aware. The large address aware is um, an, uh, a, a program that allows you to use more than two gigabyte, two gigabyte of RAM 
uh, to run Medieval 2 Total War because otherwise you will uh, suffer of uh, many crashes and um, in this case they have already put uh, this uh, large address aware in the folder of divide and conquer but uh, um, I suggest you to do also a manual implementation of the large address aware if you already find uh, uh, this um, large address aware in the divide and conquer folder so you follow this uh, root program 86 uh, steam steam apps common medieval to total war mods divide and conquer if you already have larger address aware here you can just double click here click yes select uh, um, in the medieval 2 total war folder uh, medieval 2 uh, dot xe you click open uh, you must check this box and click save okay but if you don't have the larger address aware here you can uh, uh, copy and paste the large address aware from the duck installation um, folder so from the file you have previously extracted uh, with winrar or otherwise you can download it from the large address aware page on the, the internet and this is the version the the pre the, the LAA zip okay this one and uh, once you have downloaded it you you can just copy and paste it uh, in uh, the divide and conquer fo uh, folder and then do what i have done before so double click the application click yes and follow the the previous passages once you have done that you are all set you have everything you need uh, i think that uh, they uh, underline is that you may uh, delete your vir virtual store uh, but uh, I, I will also show this thing if I remember what is the root no I don't may ah, okay yes uh, you go in users um, my name in this case app data local and then you go to virtual store if uh, you have uh, just like me mm, windows uh, and no other folders uh, you can just uh, uh, go straight but if you have other folders uh, i uh, i suggest you to watch this video i will leave also it in the description it is a video of uh, arakir galadirton that explains and well how to disable the virtual store okay so once you have done everything you can just double click divide and conquer and uh, there are some optional duck settings uh, this is my this, these are my settings and uh, i launched the game it is launching ah, of course it is um, logging in steam because i have steam version if you don't have a steam version but the disk one i suggest you to um, add the code in your steam library of your disk to transform the disk version in the steam version i will show you how to do that in a second <clears throat> so okay everything is working fine i already have a campaign going on for example as you can see so it is working very well no crashes now i quit and then i just go to the sim library as i told you you click uh, add the game um, add the game uh, on steam and you can put your uh, code in here it should be one of these uh, free formats I think is uh, this one but I might be wrong because I've done it uh, um, a long time ago and uh, that's it you, have, you will have uh, the Medieval 2 Total War in your Steam library the de definitive edition of course because the other edition won't work so uh, keep that in mind because my disk version was not the de definitive edition I tried to install uh, everything it crashed uh, with the previous uh, uh, divide and conquer version of the game uh, 
but uh, then I bought uh, the Medieval 2 Definitive Edition on Steam and uh, it worked perfectly. So thank you very much for watching this video and um, we have done everything. Uh, if you have some questions just uh, comment uh, below and uh, I hope to see you soon with another video. Thank you very much again, enjoy Divide and Conquer and thank you Galo. Bye bye!